Hey, thanks guys. Mamu is on high alert after three homes were burned down last night. News 10's Kai Price tells us all the details of what happened. I'm here on the scene of three homes that were burned down here on Mulberry and East Street. I spoke to one of the families that lost their home and the Mamu fire chief on how these fires occurred. I got the call at 3 o'clock this morning from my nephew, uh, Terrence Thomas, and uh, he called me and told me that my house was on fire. And he came and picked me up. And when I got at the scene, the house was in flame. It was just burning. Joseph Thomas says it was heartbreaking to see his home engulfed in flames, especially after the work he and his family have done to keep it together. I've really felt some type of way about it when I seen all the hard work that my wife and I put into this house, just to try to just see how the way it just got it all burned down. We actually lost everything in there. Thomas says the suspect should be brought to justice for his crimes and sends his heart out to the other families that also lost their homes. I think he should be punished for what he done because I don't think it's, except it's, it's, it's fair to nobody. And also they had few, uh, two or three more houses burnt the same time as my house burnt. And I, I'll, just feel, I'll just feel like my donation go out to other family that's, that they lost their home that I hope that somebody will just reach out to them as the same as they did to us. Mamu Fire Chief Gary Reed says they have found what started the fire and are looking for the suspect who committed the crime. The dog hit, you found good evidence in the house of some kind of accelerant, and uh, we interviewed neighbors, we, we searched uh, cameras on homes in the area, and the evidence is good. So right now we are, we are looking for possible arsons. Reed says that the fires that took place here are still under investigation. In Mamu, Kai Price, KLFY, News 10.